notching up another victory. This was a little sooner than we anticipated. It was an even bigger win than we anticipated. Voters in South Carolina apparently undaunted by the slew of criminal charges the former president is facing. I know where Donald Trump took us in the last four years of his term and decided to go back that direction. So. One exit poll of 2,000 voters here finding more than 60 percent would still support Mr. Trump even if convicted of a crime with a similar percentage doubting Joe Biden won the previous election. We're Trump supporters, right? Both of us, yeah. Mm -hmm. Always have been? Always have been, yeah. Nikki Haley found some support on her home turf, performing a little better than polls had predicted. Yeah, I voted for Nikki Haley. Donald Trump is a crazy person. She's the person for the job. But it wasn't enough. The state's former governor, defiant nonetheless. I'm not giving up this fight when a majority of Americans disapprove of both Donald Trump and Joe Biden. Nikki Haley vowing to continue fighting, at least until Super Tuesday in early March. So much of that decision is about, you know, what does the money look like? Do you have enough money to keep going? You know, does she feel like she's making an important case? Maybe she's thinking about kind of what's going to happen in 2028 or 2032. Behind the bravado, there's disappointment for Nikki Haley. This loss in her home state, further proof of the grip that Donald Trump has on the Republican Party. Probably time for her to move out. I think it's time for the party to unite. Nikki Haley has done just enough here to fight on a little longer. We love you all. God bless you all. Against what increasingly feels like the inevitability of Donald Trump's nomination. Barbara Miller, ABC News, Charleston, South Carolina.